Hello and welcome to today's science lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera. Hello. hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our laps and close our eyes. And when you're ready, guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. Excellent. And next we'll do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. So let's stretch up high to the sky, guys, high as we can. And net, if your neck hurts, don't do it, you're okay. Just take it easy. And now let's go back down, touch your toes. Then let's go back up high again, guys. Neck, net, you take it easy. And let's go tippy toe high. And wave side to side. Side to side. And then back down to touch your toes once more. And now let's stand up, hands on hips, and let's have a wiggle. Wiggle side to side. Stop, another wiggle. Stop, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, and stop. And now we'll go round and round. Round and round, round and round, and stop. Back the other way. Round and round the other way. Give our spines a nice stretch before students sit back down. Excellent, guys. Now have a shake. Arms and legs, shake. Shake it out. Very good. And to finish, we'll do five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. Now in today's science lesson, we're going to talk about all of the different things that we have on planet Earth that share one common fact. And this common fact is that all the different things we will talk about all have life, okay? All of the things we see in this lesson with the videos and the PowerPoints all share one thing, they have life. So any ideas what we call things that have life, guys? Excellent, Laka. One more time. Living things. Everything on this planet, planet Earth, that has life, we can call a living thing. So let's write that phrase on the board first, guys. L-I-V-I-N-G. Living. And things... T-H-I-N-G-S. So all together, 
living things. Excellent. And the first example we can give of living things, any ideas? What, are, what do we have in this room? People, yes, us. We are an example of living things. We are people. Boys, girls, men, women, we all have life. So we are living things. So we can say people, P, E, O, P, L, E. People. Yes. Now, any other example? Okay, animals is good. And animals is a very big term. So can you give me some examples of animals? Cat. Does a cat have life? Yes. So a cat is a living thing. How do we spell cat, guys? C-A-T. Tiger. Excellent. T-I-G-E-R. Pak Bung, did you know a tiger is a cat too? It's part of the cat family, but it's what's known as a big cat. Dog. Yes. So if you have an idea, guys, raise your hands and then we can go round one by one. D O G. So let's see. Down. Rabbit. Excellent. And these are all examples of animals. So we'll put them in this column R A B B I T. Rabbit. Crow. Dolphin. Very good. D O L P H I N. Dolphin, bang bon. Bird, excellent. Bird is an example of a living thing in the sky. B I R D. So, so far we have people, people. Cats. cats, tiger, tiger. Dog. dog, rabbit, rabbit. dolphin, dolphin. Bird. bird. And all of these types of living things are animals but there are other types of living things too tree, tree. excellent tree, plant. tree plant okay t r e e a tree is a living thing and then i heard another example plant p l a n t and how about beginning with f similar to tree plant very pretty, lots of color. Flower, yes. F L O W E R. Tree. Plant. Flower. All living things. Rabbit. Dolphin. Bird. Cat. Tiger. Dog. Living things. What type of living things are these guys? Animals. People. How about this marker pen? Living thing? No. no. You see? Non-living thing. No life. So it's not living. What about the tables where you sit? Non-living. Non no life. But what you'll notice about all the living things that we have an example of on our board is that they're all different. There are different categories of living things. And in today's science lesson, what we're going to do is explore the different types of living things because there are different categories that we can group them into. One good example, like our student down already said, animals. Lots of animals are living things, but there's more. And that's what we're going to find out today. So well done, guys. That was excellent. And what we've got now, we've got a video and a PowerPoint presentation for our students to observe and listen to so they can understand the different types of living things that we have on planet Earth. So let's all turn to look at the TV screen, guys. And now we'll take a look at our PowerPoint presentation, Living Things. 
all living things need food, water, and air to live. These are the four things that all living things need. Food, water, and air. Living things can be divided into four categories. Category number one, plants. Here we have the lotus plant. Lotus plant. You can see it's a very pretty type of plant that we find on the water. Banana plant. Yes, this is where we get the fruit, the banana from. Fern plant. Yes, you can see they all share the same last name because they're part of the same category of living thing. Fern plant. And category number two, animals. And as we've already seen, guys, there's lots of different animals. What animals can we see on this picture? What animal is this? Cow. Cow. Pig. How about this animal? Chicken. Chicken. Sheep. Dog. Dog. Cat. Horse. I think another horse, another pig, another sheep, and this duck, chicken, and this la buffalo. Yes, lots of different animals. Another category of animals, sea animals. And these are animals that live in the sea. What is this animal here? Can you see it here in red? Yes. Crab. Crab. Squid. Shark. Shark. Octopus. Ray. Turtle. Dolphin. 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 Starfish. Starfish. Seahorse. Seahorse. Yes. Well, you can see other types of animals too that live in the sea, like shells yeah. and mollusks. Morris. Now, land animals. Land animals are different from sea animals because they live on the land. What animal is this? Elephant. Elephant, yes. Many elephants in Thailand. How about this animal? Panda. Panda, yes. And here? Tiger. Tiger. Horse. Zebra. 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 Rhino. Rhino. Hippopotamus. <laughs> Giraffe. <laughs> Gorilla. Gorilla. Lion. Lion. And? Crocodile. And another type of animal, birds. Yes, they don't live in the sea and they don't really live on land. So they have their own separate category of animals. And you can see lots of pretty colours and different types of birds. But also guys, category number three, other living things. And this is the category we give to things that are quite different and don't really look like anything else. For example, fungi. Yes, you can see this is like a type of mushroom and fungis grow in damp, dark places. Bacteria. 
bacteria is very, 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 very small. And it lives inside all of us. Inside all living things are another living thing called bacteria. Algae. Yes. Have you ever seen this before? Sometimes if you go to rivers, ponds, or streams, you will see lots of green material on the top of the water. And this is what the algae is. And finally, the fourth classification of living things, us. We are humans. Yes. Any questions, guys? Okay, well done, guys. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the video and the PowerPoint presentation so that they can begin to understand about the different types of living things and how, by using categories, we can put the different types of living things into different groups, such as animals, people, and other living things. And we're going to do a flashcard exercise too to check our students' understanding. But well, first of all, guys, stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And for this, we'll begin with some rotations. Right, left. Right, left. Right, left. Right, left. Right, left. Excellent, guys. Next, we'll take our right hand and we'll touch our left foot. And then left hand, right foot. Right hand, left foot. Left hand, right foot. Right hand, left foot. Left hand, right foot. Right hand, left foot. Left hand, right foot. And then let's stand up straight and have a shake, guys. Arms and legs, let's have a shake. Shake it out. Excellent. And then to finish, we'll do five jumps straight up. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Please sit down. So, now it's time for our flashcards activity. So teachers, what you'll need to do is print off the different flashcards and attach tape to the back of each one because we've got a board exercise coming up for our students to check the different living things into the correct category. And for this, we're using three different categories of living things. We're not going to use the fourth, which is us, because we know people are people. So the first thing to do is let's have our first three categories on the board. So guys, category number one. Animals. Animals, okay? So we'll have animals in the center. And then another category. They're not animals. They are other living things. Remember, this is the group that they look quite strange, quite different. And that's why they're called other living things. And then there's another category. Plants. Okay, now the plant family includes all things that grow, such as trees, flowers too. So, we've now got our three categories on the board. It's now time for our students to close their eyes. And when they wake up, one of them will have a picture and the name of a living thing. They'll have to come forward, place it in the correct category, and speak that word correctly. So let's see who can go first. Let's open our eyes, guys. Who has the first picture? Lakau. Bring your picture to the front of class, please. Okay, and can you hold up and show your friends? What do we have, guys? What can you see? Eagle. eagle. Now, what type of living thing is an eagle? Is it a plant? No. Is it a other living thing? No, no it's a animal. 
Okay, so we can place eagle under the animals category. And altogether, eagle, eagle. Animals. animals. Okay, Lakau, can you say eagle, eagle. animals? Eagles belong in the animals category. Thank you very much, Lakau. Round of applause for Lakau. <laughs> and now it's time for our next students to bring their flashcard picture to the front of class. So let's see who can we choose this time. Let's see who's next. Okay, and now we'll ask Pat to bring his picture forward. So, Pat, bring your picture forward, please. And can we remember from the PowerPoint what this is, guys? Algae. Now, what type of living thing is algae? Is algae a plant? No. No. Is algae an animal? No. No. So, what type of living thing is algae? Other living things. So, Pat, can you please see it for me? Excellent. And then all together, guys, algae, algae. Other, other living things. Three. Pat, that was excellent. High five, round of applause for Pat. So teachers, you can see the activity that we're doing in our classroom now. You can pause the video and play in your class for around 10 minutes. And remember, use a different student for each flashcard and have them all practice speaking together once the picture's on the board. And we'll carry on playing now. Okay, so now it's Nadia's turn to bring her picture forward. Nadia will present her picture to class, and then guys, can you work out what type of living thing? So what do you see? Dolphin. Dolphin is a plant? Dolphin is an animal, yes. So, Nadia, can you place it on here? Okay, let's place it a little bit higher. So. Okay, so, dolphin is an animal. But what type of animal is dolphin? Is it a land animal? Where does it live? Sea. So, it's a sea animal. What type of animal is eagle? Land? Air no. Air. air animal? What do we call air animals? B -b Bird. Birds, yes. Birds. Sea animal. Nadia? Excellent. High five. Big round of applause for Nadia. Okay, now next picture. Let's see who can get the next one. Okay, so now Bang Bon's turn to bring his flash picture forward and let's see if we can guess. This one, you might be able to tell by reading the name of the picture. What do we have, guys? Fern plant. Fern plant. So listen to the second word, fern plant. What type of living thing is fern plant? It's a plant. Excellent. So Bang Bon, yes. We can place it in our plants category. Okay, that's excellent. And all together, guys, fern plant. Fern plant. Plants. plants. Okay, bang pon. Can you say fern plant? Fern plant. Plants. Hello. Excellent. Round of applause for bang pon. Next, we have another flash picture. So now, it's Ned's turn to show us his flash picture. So let's see, what animal do we have on Ned's flash picture, guys? Can you tell? Monkey. monkey, yes, it's a monkey. And the monkey, the monkey looks funny. <laughs> Okay, but what type of living thing animal. is the monkey? Yes. Is the monkey a plant? No, animal. Animal. So, Ned, can we place it here? Brilliant. And what type of animal is monkey? Sea animal? No. Bird? No. Land animal. Land animal. So, can we say monkey, monkey. 
animal. Monkey, animal. That's excellent. High five, big round of applause for Annette. Now time for our next picture. What type of living thing do we have next, guys? Okay, now it's Pak Boom's turn to tell us what her living thing looks like. So can you bring your picture forward, guys? Excellent. What can we see? Banana plants. So listen carefully to the word, banana plants. Is banana plants an animal? What is it? It's a plant. So we can place it in the plant category on our board. Excellent, Pak Boom. And can we say, banana plants, plants. The key is always in the name for the plants. It tells us what category it belongs to. Pak Boom, excellent. High five and a big round of applause for Pak Boom. Okay, we've got a few pictures left. So let's see who can go next. Now it's Prel's turn to bring her flash picture forward. And what does Prel have on her flash picture? Can you show class? What do we? Bacteria. Bacteria, yes. Now, guys, bacteria. But do you think there is any bacteria in the room now? Yes, yes everywhere. Bacteria is so small, you can't see it. It's inside us, and it's on other things in the room, living and non-living. But what type of living thing is bacteria? Other living things. Excellent, Pro. That's perfect. So can we say bacteria? Bacteria. Other living things. And if you look closely at the picture, this picture is taken with a magnifying glass. Because bacteria is so small, we can't see it. So we have to make it thousands of times bigger, and then we can see it. So Prel, that was excellent. Big round of applause for Prel, please, guys. Okay, our board's getting full, but we're still not finished. So now, let's see who's next. Okay, Down's turn to bring her flash picture forward. Down, can you come and show class what flash picture you have? And let's think, guys, what type of living thing can we see? First of all, can we say? Fungi. 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 Do you know mushrooms? Not plants, we have to be careful. But fungi, do you know about mushrooms? heard the term mushrooms? Mushrooms are a type of fungi, but they're not plants. Some people might mistake them for plants. What are they? Other living things. Excellent. So Dan, can you place it on the correct category on our board? Perfect. Well done, Dan. So we can say fungi, other Living things. Excellent, Down. Big round of applause for Down. And we have one flash picture left. So let's see who can do this one for us. Chu. So Chu, can you bring your flash picture forward to the front of class, please? And what does Chu's flash picture say? Lotus plant. Yes, you see many of these type of plants in Thailand. They're very pretty and we can see them in Thailand. And once again, by reading the name, what type of living thing is it, guys? It's a plant, yes. It's actually in the name. So, Chu, can you place it under the correct category, please? That's it. Excellent. And now we can say lotus plant. Plants. plants. Chu, can you say lotus plants? Plants. plants? plants. Excellent. Big round of applause for Chu. <laughs> and 
And now we've got all our vocabulary on the board sorted into the correct categories. So let's practice speaking one more time. First category, plants. Fern plant. Banana plant. Lotus plant. Second category, animals. Eagle. Bird. Dolphin. Sea animal. Monkey, monkey, land animal. animal. So you can see, even within one category, we have different subcategories of animals. And then, other, other. living things. Living. Algae, algae. Bacteria. bacteria, and fungi. And fungi. Excellent, guys. Great job and well spoken. <laughs> And now it's time for our worksheet part of the lesson. So teachers, what you need to do is print off a worksheet for all of the students in your class. And what we've got, we've got a list of 10 different living things. And what our students need to do is they need to look at each one and then write the correct category next to it. So we have three categories, guys. We have plants, animals, other living things. So our students must look at each one and write the correct category in the space provided. But what's the first thing to do? Write our names on top. And give our students around 10 minutes and monitor the class and help them with anything they need. So Chew, that one's for you. You're welcome. Pat, for you. Nadia, for you. You're welcome. Ned, for you. Down, here's yours. Bank one for you, Prel for you, you're welcome, and Lakau for you. So first thing guys, names on top. Then have a look at all of your different things. They are all living things, but they don't all belong in the same category. Some are plants, some are animals, and some are other living things. For example, number one, lion. What is a lion? Lion is a animal. Yes, lion is an animal. So we write that category next to lion. And then the next one, if we look at our board exercise, we have bacteria. And what category does bacteria come in? Other living things. And also lotus plant. If you pay attention in the flashcards exercise, lotus plant is on the board already. But anything you're not sure of, guys, you can let me know. And Nadia, lotus plant, you can see, lotus plant is on the board too. What category does lotus plant belong to? Plants. The key is in the name for plants. Okay, lotus plant. We can see lotus plant, plants. Bacteria, other living thing, yes. And then fish. Bangpon, what type of living thing is fish? Animals. Animals. Excellent. Well done. Algae, it's on our board too, so we've learned already. What type of living thing is algae? Animals. Really? Algae? Other living things. So be careful, guys. Make sure of the correct categories. We haven't used the fourth, which is people, because that's us. But as we've seen in the video, even within different categories, there are subcategories. Like we can divide animals into birds, sea animals, and land animals. But for now, we're just concentrating on the main categories.
Excellent, Ned. Let's see, so next one. Elephant, what type of living thing is elephant? Animal. animal. Yes, elephant is an animal, a land animal. We see lots of them in Thailand. Fungi. Where's fungi on the board? Fungi, 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 fungi. Fungi is a type of, well, mushroom is a type of fungi. Okay, what help do you need? Yes, so lion is a animal. Excellent. And the final one, monkey, on our butt, our friend, bang pong, our friend the monkey is animal. Yes. Perfect, Raquel, excellent. Well done, guys. Great to see your understanding. Fungi, fungi, <laughs> fungi, other living thing. Excellent idea. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activity where they had to look at the 10 different living things and put them in the right categories by writing them alongside. And my students here have done an excellent job and we're going to practice talking now. So number one, lion, lion. Animal. animal, bacteria, bacteria. Other, living thing. other living thing, lotus plant, lotus plant. 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 fish, fish. Animals. animals, algae, algae. Other, living other living things, elephant, elephant. animals. Banana plant, plants, plant. plant. shark, shark. Animals. animals, fungi, fungi. Other, living other living things, and finally, monkey, monkey. Animal. animal. Excellent, guys, very well done. <laughs> and that's all for today's lesson, so we hope you've enjoyed it found it interesting and now have an understanding of the different types of living things. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we turn to wave and say goodbye guys? Goodbye. Bye bye. See you again soon. <laughs>